Today we are talking about the evolution of the mobile phones from 1973 to 2023. The first ever public call from a mobile phone was actually made a whole 10 years before any mobile phone was commercially available. Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola, made history when he called a rival telecommunications company and informed them that he was speaking from a mobile phone. The call was actually made with a prototype of their Dynatac model, the first handheld mobile phone on the market, which was released a whole 10 years later. Technically, there were mobile phones before this, the history of mobile phones actually goes back to 1908 when a patent was issued in Kentucky for a wireless telephone. Saying that, this sort of mobile phone was more like a two-way radio than the phones that we're familiar with today. The first true mobile phone available to consumer is the Mobira Senator. It was the product of Nokia. Its weight was 10 kilograms. There's no chance that you'd be able to carry one of these around all day. Just one year after Mobira, Motorola launches the first ever handheld mobile phone, it was Dynatac 8000X. The phone in question weighed over a kilogram and took more than 10 hours to charge. This all changed in 1992 when Nokia launched its 1011 model, the first mobile phone that could be used anywhere in the world. The handset in question weighed just under 500 grams, featuring a monochrome LCD screen and an extendable antenna. First launching in 1994, IBM Simon Personal Communicator is widely considered as the world's first smartphone. The IBM Simon featured a touchscreen display and countless pre-installed apps such as an address book, calculator, calendar, digital notepad, world clock and more. Remember the Nokia 9000 Communicator? This was the first phone of its kind, marking the start of Nokia's legendary communicator line. It was launched in 1996. The 9000 Communicator featured a full QWERTY keyboard as well as being one of the first phones with the ability to send and receive emails and fax via its GSM modem. This was also the year in which the very first clamshell phone, often described as the flip phone, was released. It was Motorola Startic and it was released in 1996. It weighed just 88 grams and was small enough to fit in your pocket. Another notable phone that was released in 1996 was the Nokia 8110. Nicknamed the Banana due to its curved profile. It was so easy to use, one of the very first slider phones, users would simply slide down the keypad cover to answer a call and slide it back up to end a call. Siemens rocked the world when it launched its S10 model in 1997. The first mobile phone with a full color screen. It displayed up to six lines of information in four different colors, white, red, blue and green. It also came with several basic apps such as an alarm, a phone book and even a voice note recorder. It weighed just under 200 grams. Three years after Nokia launched its communicator line, BlackBerry entered the professional mobile phone market with its first model, it was the BlackBerry 850. Whilst it was a very basic version of the Blackberries that a lot of us were familiar with in the late 2000s. In 1999, Nokia also re entered the slider phone market with its 7110 model. This phone featured a sliding cover over its keypad, which allowed users to easily accept and end calls. It was also one of the very first phones to offer mobile internet access via its revolutionary WAP browser. Japanese tech company Sharp released the Sharp JSH04 under the J-Phone brand in November 2000. This was the very first mobile phone to feature an integrated digital camera, even if it was only 0.11 megapixels, yes, you read that right? Arguably the most iconic Nokia model of all time with over 125 million models sold, the year 2000 marked the release of Nokia's 3310. It featured screensavers, customizable ringtones and even the option to add a welcome message. It was famous for its long battery life and sturdy design, falling victim to countless durability tests over the years. This was also the phone that popularized the Snake 2 mobile game, after that, Nokia launched the 1100 model. On the surface it was a fairly basic mobile phone, offering little more than calls, texts, and other standard features such as an alarm clock and Snake 2. 
It also arrived at a time where smartphones with advanced features such as cameras, complex applications and internet access were becoming more popular. This was one of the best-selling phones of all time, selling over 250 million models worldwide. It was actually Nokia's cheapest mobile phone when it was first released to market in late 2003. The BlackBerry 6210, also known as Quark Dot was named by Time magazine as one of the most influential gadgets of all time. This really changed the way people saw the phone company, becoming the go-to choice for most business professionals around the world. Released at the end of 2004, the Razer V3 is Motorola's most popular handset to date, selling 50 million units between 2004 and 2006. It also claimed the title of the best-selling clamshell phone of all time. Famous for its remarkably slim design the phone also featured 3G connectivity, a VGA camera, video recording, Bluetooth, WAP internet browsing and a variety of downloadable MP3 ringtones. 2005 marked the year that Sony partnered with Ericsson to release the first mobile phone under the famous Walkman brand, it also featured 34 megabytes of internal memory, with the option to add up to 2GB via a memory card. Nokia launched its N95 model back in March 2007, boasting 160 megabytes of internal memory with the option to add up to 8 gigabytes on a micro SD card as well as a set of dedicated media controls for watching films and listening to music. One of the standout features of this phone was its 5 megapixel camera, featuring autofocus, flash, and even the ability to change ISO, white balance and contrast. As most of you will know, one of the main factors for Nokia's demise was the launch of Apple's iPhone. First launching in June 2007, priced from $499 for a two-year contract, Apple managed to sell over 6 million units. iPhone, with many experts noting this as the most significant moment in smartphone history. HTC launched its Dream G1 model, also known as the T-Mobile Dream G1 in some areas, in September 2008. Whilst the phone itself was nothing extraordinary for its time, featuring a QWERTY keyboard, a touchscreen and a few buttons for key features such as answering calls, its significance lies in its operating system. This was the very first phone on the Android operating system. Just one year after the launch of its first-generation iPhone, Apple rocked the smartphone industry yet again with the launch of the iPhone 3G. It featured upgraded battery life support for 3G networks and a new and improved operating system the model was significantly more affordable than the first iPhone, with prices starting from just $199 for a two-year contract compared to $499 for the first-generation model. BlackBerry launched its Curve 8520 model in 2009, further reinforcing its transformation from a business-focused to a consumer-focused manufacturer. Going from just under 20 million units sold in 2008 to 50 million in 2010. One of the most successful phone lines in history, Samsung launched the very first Galaxy S in June 2010. With 16 gigabytes of storage, a 1 gigahertz ARM Hummingbird processor, an AMOLED touchscreen, a 5 megapixel camera and a 0.3 megapixel front camera it was a very strong attempt at competing with Apple's popular iPhone series. Samsung launched its first phablet the Samsung Galaxy Note N7000, in October 2011. With a screen size of 5.3 inches, something that was pretty unheard of at this time, iPhone users ridiculed it as too big, mobile technology really started to accelerate in 2012. Just five years ago apps had only just been introduced and it was fairly uncommon to find a phone with Wi-Fi capabilities. Often labeled the first great Android phone, the Samsung Galaxy S3 also launched in 2012. With more than 20 million units sold in the first 100 days, this was the first Android phone to consistently outperform the iPhone in polls. In September 2013, Apple once again changed the face of the luxury phone market with its attempt at a cheaper version of the iPhone 5, known as the iPhone 5C. Whilst the iPhone 5 launched with prices from $199 to $399 on a two-year contract, Apple also launched a higher-priced model at the same time as the 5C, known as the iPhone 5S, 
This was the first time it had announced two iPhones at the same event, setting the tone for years to come. Released in 2013, the Nokia Lumia 1020 is still known as one of the most powerful camera phones on the market. At a whopping 41 megapixels, this incredible phone has been described as able to replace the digital camera and as a compact camera with some phone features tacked onto it. Apple launched its first phablet, the iPhone 6 Plus, at the same time as its iPhone 6 in September 2014. The phone brought a new, sleeker design to the iPhone, sporting a thinner body but a huge 5.5-inch screen. Apple still managed to break its previous sales record, selling a staggering 10 million units in the first weekend that the handsets went on sale. Easily one of the best-looking smartphones of its time the Galaxy S6 Edge boasted a truly unique, curved edge-to-edge -edge screen. It also offered wireless charging, a 16-megapixel camera and a Quad HD Super AMOLED display. This phone was another key player in Android's gradual dominance over Apple. One of the first two phones on Android 6.0, Google's, Huawei, Nexus 6P model was one of the most popular phones of 2015. With a solid 12.3 megapixel camera, boasting 4K video recording and 240fps slow motion video, a 5.7 inch AMOLED display, and an impressive aluminium shell, Google launched its flagship phones, the Pixel and Pixel XL, to a great reception back in 2016. Whilst the model's design was nothing special, its high-quality hardware and software led to it receiving near 5-star reviews across the board. On top of this, the phone received a ton of good press surrounding its camera, scoring a rating of 89 on the Xomark, the company that rates the quality of smartphone and DSLR cameras. The models featured a full-screen infinity display, support for wireless charging, a 12-megapixel camera with an f/1.7 lens and foolproof security features including a fingerprint scanner, with 41 million units sold in 12 months, Apple yet again changed the game at its annual September conference with the launch of the iPhone X the first iPhone with a full-screen display. Launched to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the original iPhone, the model received a lot of bad press at first due to its staggering price tag with prices starting from $999 for the 64GB model. Xinjiang-based manufacturer OnePlus launched its strongest proposition yet in October 2018, with the OnePlus 6T. The 6T went on sale from just $529 for the 128GB model, compared to the iPhone XS that starts at $999 for the 64GB entry-level device. And there were phones launched in whole year but the most sold and highly recommended phones are iPhones they have launched iPhone 11 in September 10, 2019, Apple introduced the iPhone 12 on October 13, 2020 The iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini have been launched. The iPhone 14 was made available on September 16, 2022 and it's time for launching iPhone 15 there are many prediction for it but we are waiting for iPhone 15 it has many features ever. And now we are starting the new scheme of giveaway of tech products to the viewers, if you want to win the free prizes then we are working for it and soon we will upload a video of complete guidance for it. If you like our service, please like, share and subscribe our channel for more information.